All right, guys, good morning. So um, we're going to take a look at this uh, this assignment here, okay? This is the one of three Google Forms, okay, that you're gonna have to fill out uh, by the end of the week. And this particular one pertain, uh, it's related to tangents of circles, okay? So uh, please fill out your name, last name, and then first name. And we'll get to this right here. Okay, so um, this question here is asking for uh, what is the measure of angle O? What is the measure of angle O? So there are a lot of different ways that you can accomplish this. Uh, what do you guys think? I think um, uh, I think ninety minus uh, thirty-eight would. Um, I guess makes sense here. Yeah. I would um, totally agree. Have one angle that's 38. So the other I would one totally is agree. Hey, 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 hey uh, Kelvin, what, what angle is formed between a tangent and the radius? Um, uh, what, uh, what is formed? Yeah. What, what is the angle measure that's formed between a tangent, like between, between this horizontal line? Oh, and, 38 degrees. And, 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 the, and the radius. 38 degrees. It's Well, the, the, the radius wow. here, wow. right? And the tangent here, I'm talking about angle C. What is that angle there? What do you think? Same thing. No, it's no, not. 90 90 degrees. degrees. It, 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 actually, it, actually is, it actually is 90 degrees. That was one of the uh, properties, right? It's okay. So the tangent line and the radius, okay, is going to form 90 degrees. So we know, Michael, what kind of triangle is this? This is a right triangle. This has to be a right triangle. So Kean's theory is absolutely on track. So if this is 90 and this is 38, then the remaining, you know, we're gonna have to add these two and subtract from 180 or these two angles, angle A and angle O must equal to 90. So, Kian, what's the answer? The answer is 52. The answer must be 52. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. So, the next question here, what is the perimeter of the quadrilateral below? All right. So, for this, I do need to give you a little notes on. All right. So, I'm going to um, leave this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on my tablet and I'm going to start presenting on my tablet. Okay. So I'm going to erase this because this is not you guys. All right. So what I want to do is um, show you some of the properties, okay, that relates to um, that problem that you just saw there. So what I want to do, I, I, again, if you don't have paper and pencil in front of you, I encourage you to go grab them, okay? So, and uh, I want you to draw a circle. And what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a line tangent to the circle and uh, and then another line tangent to the circle at a different point. Okay, so now there's um there are two tangent lines here. Okay, and what I want you to do, or what we're going to do in the next couple minutes, is to theorize what's going to happen between these two tangent lines. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. Okay, so the question is, how are these two lengths related? All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a radius connecting these two points, connecting the, the point of tangent and the radius, connecting the point of tangent and the radius. Okay. All right. So check this out. Hey, Ty, what is the angle formed between the radius and a tangent? Ty's muted. Ty's muted. Ty's I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, I was getting my paper and pencil. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so the question was, what is the angle formed between the radius and the tangent? Okay, the radius and the tangent, uh, that's 90 degrees. That has to be 90 degrees, very good. So that has to be 90 degrees here. And uh, similarly, the other angle over here, therefore, must also be 90 because it's, a, it's the same setup, right? It's the radius and, and, the, uh, and the tangent. All right, so check this out, right? Uh, I'm gonna make another construction here. Emmett, can you maybe um, take an educated guess on where what would be a good, uh, an, an additional construction in this diagram? Uh, splitting up these the the uh, the shape to make two right triangles. I love that. Okay, so the 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 standard of practice. Okay, whenever you don't understand something, is always try to draw on top of it and try to make other connections. Right, and this is true not just in math class, but also in any like problem solving scenario that you will ever encounter in life. All right, so we have the radius. Okay. Uh, Kian, are the two radius the same length? Uh, they are the same length. They uh, indeed are the same length. So I am going to indicate that with a tick mark, like so. And um, and this line right here, uh, Michael, this line that I am turning into a dash line right now, okay, that side there has a special name. Starts with the letter H. Hypotenuse. It's a hypotenuse. Are the hypo is the hypotenuse the same length between both right triangles? Um, yes. It is. It's the same length between both triangles because it is being shared by both triangles, right? Does the hypotenuse have to be the same length as a leg? No. It's no. Longer. As a matter of fact, it has to be longer or shorter. Longer. It must be longer. I love that. Thank you so much, there, Michael. All right. So the two lengths there are, I mean, the um, the hypotenuse there must be longer than the um, that radius there. Okay. But the, the radius, okay, is also has a has a name also. It starts with the letter L. What word am I thinking of? Leg. It's a leg. That's right. So my what what I'm gonna ask you to do right now, if I give these um, give the triangle. Let's say uh, if I call triangle, uh, let's say this is A, B, C, and D here, right? So triangle A, B, C, why must it be congruent to triangle A, D, C? Uh, side, side, side. It's not quite because of side, 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 actually. Oh. We, we don't know. We do not know. We do not know. Oops, so, I'm sorry. We do not know. Like we do not know what is the uh, length of, like, what is the uh, relationship between these two sides, right? So, Emmett, say that uh, yeah. one more time. HLC. Hypotenuse leg, right? Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, HLC, hypotenuse leg in Europe. Right? So, hypotenuse leg. So, these two triangles are going to be congruent because of hypotenuse leg. Interesting. So, wait a minute. If if the if these two triangles are congruent because of hypotenuse leg, what can we conclude about side length BC and side length DC? That they're congruent. They must be congruent. And what's the reason for this? Uh, congruent parts. Uh, congruent leg. Corresponding parts of uh, cor uh, congruent triangles. Con 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 congruent parts of con corresponding triangles are congruent. That's uh, no. core. So, so, so again, it's part to get green It's a so, tongue so twister. I'm gonna spell it out. I'm gonna spell it out, right? Yes. So the C stands for corresponding. And again, if you don't remember this, I encourage you to write this down. So this is corresponding. The P stands for parts uh. of congruent. triangles are congruent. It's supposed to be a sentence, okay? So corresponding parts of congruent triangles are 
congruent. Okay, so that's that's the um, that's the statement there. All right, so wait a minute. What so so if we've if we can conclude that these two segments okay are congruent, then we can make another yet another generalization, and that is okay, and that is tangents that intersect outside a circle are can someone help me fill in the blank here congruent there you go that's it so this is the generalization that we can make tangents that intersect outside a circle must be congruent take a screenshot of this okay make a note of this this is important okay we are going to need to use this concept in the problem for in the problem in that first Google form. Everyone have this? Not yet. Yep. <clears throat> oh. Wait, what was the answer that you said for um, the second one? Where, uh, we didn't PS finish. Or... We didn't finish the second problem yet. We didn't do the second problem. So I'm. What I'm doing right now is giving you the background information that you need to be able to answer the the second question. Okay. I already have it. You got it. Uh, Everyone else have it. Got it. Uh... Ricardo, do you have it? Owen, do you Ricky? have it? Yes. Owen, are you there? Owen. I don't think, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he's not there. Maybe he's just playing video games. <laughs> well, I mean. You never know. You never know. You don't know. Yeah, I'm just guessing from Mr. Chan. It's uh, the New York Lottery. Sure. Maybe you, you could win. Too bad. Yeah, yeah, everyone, 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 everyone never mind. Christy, uh, Chris, you have it? Yeah. Okay, and um, Kelvin, you have it. Yep. Okay, mm. Keen, you got it. Yep. Wait, Mr. Chan. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I tried to submit the form, and now it's not letting me resubmit another one because I got the question wrong. Now it's not letting you resubmit. No. All right. So give me a second while while I um while I while I uh. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay, uh, Ricardo, and that right now while, while everyone's finishing up. So just give me a second, guys, okay? Let me go over here. June 19th is the last day of official work. So It is. Yeah, and then the week after that is mainly just uh, making up work that you haven't really um, completed. That's and tight. then that's it. Right. And also, uh, June nineteenth is the last day of Family Circle. Oh, interesting. Uh, let me see here. Oh, Not the case for global, though. If you don't turn in all your work for global um, before June nineteenth, then that's it. Unless if you're talking to Spencer about it. Yeah, but that's that's, that's tenth grade global. I'm not sure about ninth grade global. Wait, really? I, I, didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't hear that, honestly. Yeah, I got that from the email. Oh. For a 10th grade global. If you didn't complete every single um, global stuff. From, 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 from mm -hmm. unit? But from, from I mean, this unit or from the rest of the other units? Uh, I think from any unit, really. If you're, like, missing work in general, then you have to submit it before June 19th. Otherwise, okay, you're not going to do it. Also, the, um, we're doing one lesson. Mr. Chan, I uh, think hey, that, that, that that one that says limit to one response is that one the pro that's the problem. It doesn't say limit to oh wait 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 require sign in limit to one response. Yeah, I gotta uncheck that. Q Emmett. Look. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. All right. Okay, 
so so we're we're back to this thing here okay so everyone have the notes by now hopefully and um, yep i got it you got it all right so yep. what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop presenting on my tablet um And we'll, you know, I really find it amazing how quickly time flies by. Don't well, this did not fly by learning. I don't know what world you're in, but this has not been exactly. flying by yet. Yeah. All right. So, so, yeah, so, guys, let's get back on track. Okay. So, um, right now in this diagram here, I've noticed. Okay, we have four tangent lines. Do you notice? Do you see that? Yes, I see it. Right. So, so this segment right here, Michael. What's this length? 3.3. Good. Ian, what has to be this length? Uh, also 3.3. Also 3.3. Boys, I'm going to ask you, okay, to make a sketch of this diagram so that you can label things, okay? Just like I'm, just like I, uh, what I'm describing right now to you guys, okay? So this length right here must be 3.3. Okay, this one must be 3.3. Guys, take a moment and draw this if you don't have it drawn yet. Okay. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to draw this. All right. Do you guys have a drawn? Not quite. Almost. Almost. I draw it. Okay. Because right. it will, we, it, uh, I will require you. There, there is a need to draw on this, and it will be immensely helpful if you do have that diagram drawn. Got it. You right. Got it. I, yeah, I just see the uh, the lengths. Uh. Say that again, I'm sorry. I see the lengths of each thing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to present on my tablet and we're going to see what I'm going to what I mean by all this, okay? So so guys, right now, okay? Uh what we have is like I said before or like um Michael said before that this length right here whoops. That this length right here Michael, one more time. What is that length? 3.3. That must be 3.3. This length right here, right, Kelvin, what is that length that I'm highlighting? 5.1. 5.1. That's right. So, therefore, what must this length be? The same thing. Same thing. That's right. It must be the same thing. This must be 5.1 as well. Hey, um, Chris, what is this length that's in green? 5.1 minus 12 point, I mean 12.1 minus 5.1, 7. That must be 7. And, uh, hey, um, Kian, what must be this length that's in green? Also 7. Also 7. Very good. Okay, and uh, wait a minute. So if this is seven, and what would this length be then, Michael? That's in blue. It would be 12.2 also. No, it would not be 12.2 actually. What would we have to do? It would be 5.2. Uh, maybe, Kian, can you maybe explain why that's the case? Because we already figured out um, one of the um, the side lengths, which mm -hmm. is um, this is from D to A. So D A in general is uh, twelve point two, and yeah, we just found one of the parts for it. So yep. what we uh -huh. did was you had to subtract um, between uh, twelve point two and yeah. seven, and then you get your um, your other side length, and then that's where we find um, the other half between right. A and B. That's right. Okay, and lastly, 
Ty, what's this length right here? Um, oh, that that the only, oh, that's two point three. No, oh, that, the, 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 the whole the whole thing, the whole thing. Not the whole thing. I'm I'm referring to I'm referring to from A to the point of tangent. Oh, A to the point of tangent. Uh, so A to P. No, that's three. It's three. A to so I'm I'm referring to this segment what? right here. Oh, that's five point one. That's five point one. It's five point. You're close. It's five point two actually. Oh right, 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 right. Because right, you see that you see how the two the two lengths there that are highlighted in blue are they the same or different? They're in fact the same. They're exactly the same because those are tangents that meet that intersect outside of a circle, right? And what do we know about tangents that meet outside of a circle? What do we know about that? They're congruent. They are congruent. That's exactly it. So why am I why am I going through all of this? Okay, so in order for us to figure out what is the wait, what was the question again? We're supposed to find the perimeter, are we not? Uh, yeah, we are. We are supposed to find a perimeter, right? Okay, so if we're trying to find a perimeter. How can we go about this? Well, we just need to add all the stuff up. We need to add five point two, five point two, three point three, three point three. 5.1, 5.1, 7.0, and 7.0. We got to add up all that stuff that I highlighted there. So if we add the stuff up, Ty, what did you get? You say you got it? Uh, no, I actually. Uh, I also went his head. I got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kian, you said you got it. Yep. Kian, what what did you get? It's uh forty one point two. Forty one point two. Yep. Can someone else confirm that? It is forty one point two. Okay, so let's go. Let's go over here. We're gonna enter it on forty one point two. All right, forty one point two. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna stop presenting on this and I'll get back to there's still two more problems Mr. Chan yeah I know I know I'm going to stop presenting on my tablet and I'm going to get back on to the computer screen here okay and getting to this guy right now okay so what do you guys notice about this so here we're asked to find out what is angle O Again, angle A is the circumscribed uh, about circle O. We need to find out what is angle O. All right, so for this, I need to give you some additional notes as well, actually. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna jump back on my tablet. And um, wait, don't we already know the theorem for this? It's just like the opposite angles in the in the quadrilateral. It's not quite like that because. Remember, the, the, the theorem that we went over last week, that was uh, the quadrilateral, was it inside the circle or was it outside the circle? Inside completely. Uh, it was completely inside the circle. Now, this quadrilateral, like, it's partially outside, so that's not quite the same, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys yet a little more notes. We actually went over this in, the, um, in one of the enrichment problems, uh, but I'm going to go over it with you guys again. So let's take a look, okay? So we have a circle. Again, I'm going to encourage you, again, to draw this with me. And one more time, we have a tangent and another tangent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line like so and a line like so. And I'm going to make that my radius, okay? And um, the, the the question is, okay, how do we determine? Um, so if I call this here angle A, and I call this B, and I call this C, do you guys remember the setup from like last week? Maybe, right? 
So, so the, 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 the question is, what's the relationship, okay, between all three of these things, okay? So as it turns out, okay, as it turns out, angle A is equal to this relationship. We're going to take the major arc minus the minor arc and divide by two. Okay, so that's the formula right there. Can you guys? That's the formula for what? That's the formula for the relationship between the intercepted arcs and the angle formed by the tangents. Oh, so that's kind of like how we find the angle of the intercepted arc. So, so write this. Let's write this formula down first, okay? And then in the question, okay, that's in the Google form. And the question that's in the Google form, if you check, if you if you notice, the question was this. This angle over here is 70, is that is that right? Yep. Okay. So that angle there is 70. So actually, there's a way for us to um to actually maybe alter this a, a little bit. If you notice right now, if this is if this is B right here, this guy right here, I'm calling this arc here B, right? I'm calling this arc here B, right? But can B, can the letter B be expressed using arc C? Sure. Ty's like, of course you can. Since you're asking it, most likely that's you know that's probably a yes, right? And, and Ty, you're absolutely right. So, so Ty, if if the arc over here in green, okay, is C, okay, what would the arc in pink have to be? How much less? Um, than yeah, go ahead. So 360 minus C. I love that. You are absolutely on point. This is 360 minus C. I love that. So alternatively, right, if if arc B is 360 minus C, right, uh, maybe Ty, since you, you are the one who, clever, uh, who cleverly came up with that pink arc being 360 minus C, can you help me do the substitution and maybe alter this uh, formula just a little bit? Um, okay. What would what, uh, what am I going to replace B, the letter B with? Three hundred sixteen minus C. That's it. And then it could just be one eighty minus C. And we get to this point, right? Okay. So wait, Emmett, what do you mean by that? Well, you have three sixty over two, and those can cancel, or those can uh, simplify themselves to just one eighty. So. The numerator, 360 and 2, have common factor of 2. All of this can be reduced to 180 minus angle C, minus arc C. So all of this, okay, can transition to just that, okay, right there. So actually, I am going to move this. So this is an alternate way of describing that formula there, okay? All right, so having this understanding then, okay, having this understanding, how can we how can we use that formula to help us solve for, how can we use this formula to help us solve for angle O? Uh, so it'll be 180 minus uh, 70. So I know that angle A in this case is 70, is that right? Yes. Oh, it uh, equals 70. So uh, 180 minus the arc that, uh, that it, that's, that's, yeah, that's around 70. So, so Ty, give us a letter. Um, P. P? Okay. So it's 180 minus P. We're, we need to solve for P then, yeah? Yep. And so, so therefore, if we subtract both sides by 180, We'll end up with a hundred negative one hundred and ten is equal to negative p. 
So therefore, P must equal to 110. Yep. So does it? So can we use this to prove that opposite angles in a when the quadrilateral isn't fully inside the circle also are supplementary? You're absolutely right. That is an that we we can. But this is only true if two of the sides are what? Congruent. Tangent. Yes. Tangent. Right. Two of the sides are congruent. So this angle over here has to be 110. This is 110. And Emmett, you are you are, you are right. Okay. So if the quadrilateral though, okay, the, if the quadrilateral is tangent, okay, or or the two of the sides are tan tangent, okay. Everyone have this. Yep, I have it. All right. So no. now we're gonna go wait, 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 here. Wait, wait. No, I don't have it. No. No. Just give me a second. Uh. Um. Can you scroll down a little bit, if possible? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. All right, got it. Got it? Everyone else have it? Kelvin, you got it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Michael, you got it. Awesome. Ken, you got it? Yep. Okay. Chris, you have it. Uh, yeah. Got it. Okay, good. Okay, so let's get to the next question. I am going to stop presenting over here. All right, so now we're back over here. All right, so now we have this. And the question here is... Wait, hold on. Yeah? What's up? Calvin, what's up? He's Calvin, muted. we're good? Yeah, we're good. Uh, okay. So we have AC is tangent to circle O at point C. What is the length of AC? We need to find out what is the length of AC. Okay. So we have a line that's tangent right now. What kind of triangle is this? A right so triangle. Have, this is a right triangle. Michael, what is the length of OB? OB? Yeah. Um, uh, is it four? No, it's not four. Five because it's um, they're both both OB and OC are um the radius, so therefore they have that, to be yeah. the same. OB must be five because that's the radius. So wait a minute. Uh, if OB is five, Chris, what's the length of AO then? Hold on. Isn't it eight? If O B is five, A O A O. Well, A B is wait no O C is O B is five, but A O A plus five thirteen. It must be thirteen. This is a right triangle, right? Mm -hmm. So A O is that a leg or a hypotenuse? Hypotenuse. Uh, yep, it's hypotenuse. It's a hypotenuse. Let's figure out what is the other leg, AC. We, it, well, actually, we it's already know it is. Yeah, it's a Pythagorean triplet. It's a Pythagorean yeah. triplet. That's right. Ty, you're, you're, you're on fire today, right? So, so the answer AC is 10, is right? So this is, 12, no, this is a Pythagorean triple. This is a Pythagorean triple. What has to be the length of the other leg, Ty? Uh, the other leg, uh, AC, that's 12. It has to be 12. This is a... 5, 12, 13 triangle. Super famous. If ever you, you, you need to take like the ACT or SAT, right? This is like bound to pop up. So 5, 12, 13. Another famous one is 3, 4, 5. Okay. So this one right here has to be 12. All right, Mr. Chen. All done. Yes, once you once, uh, once you're done, click uh, hit submit. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here on my laptop, and I am going to check out whether or not um, it's like a hundred percent whether or not it's actually submitted. Let me take a look.
Uh, Mr. Chan, should we should we select uh, send copy of our responses? It's submitted. Sure. Yeah. It's submitted. Okay. It's submitted. Yeah, I saw it go away. Or not go away. I saw it say uh, turned in when I filled it out. I had to mark it as done. You you had to click mark as done. Kian. Yeah. What about the rest I, of you guys? Did you guys have to hit mark as done or no? No, it automatically well, turned it in for me. It automatically did it for you. Well, well, did it say um, did it say our names? So I see yep. here. Yeah, you, you don't have to click mark as done anymore. So I see here. Wow, Lucy did it already. Good for her. She got four out of four. Emmett did it. Uh, Michael did it. Uh, Kian did it. Wait, why why is there two Emmets in the response? Because one of them was um was changed because he had to redo it. So therefore, um Mr. Chan at the time didn't enable um multiple no, no, where he could he, he could do it multiple it. I just times. Did it I just did it multiple times. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. So so I think it's good. I think I think that problem solved itself. Um where where but but still, just double check, okay? That that um, double check any of the Google Forms that I make, okay? Whether or not it says like marked as done, if uh, whether or not did it for you. If it didn't, like if it didn't click the mark as done button for you, just make sure that you go and you click that, okay? With any of the forms that I create in the future. Okay, so that's it. I am going to stop here, and I am going to. Uh, stop recording.